last year and nearly stole the show at Woodstock 94 with its mud-covered set. We caught up with Reznor to discuss all sorts of stuff, including his soundtrack for the upcoming Oliver Stone film, Natural Born Killers, a satire of the media's obsession with serial killers. I went and saw this movie, an edit of it, and it was, it just blew me away. <laughs> I suggested to Oliver to um, try to turn the soundtrack into a collage of sound, kind of the way the movie used the music, and make edits of things, and have dialogue. Wherever we go, and whatever happens, Mickey, when I look up at the stars, I'll know you're looking up at the same ones. And he looked at me and he goes, mm, that's a good idea, do it. And I instantly have nightmarish images of uh, that Batman song that Prince did, <laughs> yeah. On top of producing a movie soundtrack and being named by Playgirl as one of 1994's sexiest rockers, Trent Reznor has managed to release a Nine Inch Nails album, The Downward Spiral, which surprised Trent and everyone by debuting at number two on the album charts. I realized that it wasn't going to be a big commercial success type record. There wasn't any real singles on there. And it worked as a chunk of art, I thought, but not so much as... Let someone say, let me hear something off the new record. Both the Downward Spiral and the Natural Born Killers soundtrack are on Trent's own record label, Nothing, which is run like an independent label, but subsidized by a larger one. Basically what Nothing can offer someone else is a creative barrier where you kept to yourself, you have the machinery of a major label on the other side that you're more than willing to go to. But they won't come and say, no, you can't put that on your cover. No, you can't sing that song. Nine Inch Nails are able to launch a more extensive tour this fall, thanks in part to Woodstock. The amount of money we can make from that show pays for the rest of our tour because we lose money when we tour because we opted to um, take a lot of production out. Even if touring is costly for Nine Inch Nails, being out on the road is one of Trent's favorite things because of the interaction he gets to have with his fans. Sometimes someone will come up to me and say, you know exactly how I feel, you know, and you've been able to uh, express it for me. And that's a cool feeling. That's the best compliment you could ever get, you know, rather than, you know, cool guitar solo. Natural Born Killers will be released August 26th. Nine Inch Nails are now on tour with neo-industrial band Marilyn Manson opening. Hole comes aboard starting August 29th in Cleveland with new bassist Melissa Alftermauer on hand to replace the late Kristen Pfaff. Hole will be replaced by the Jim Rose Circus Sideshow starting September 9th in Muncie, Indiana.